Hi friends, welcome to this session on encrypting and decrypting data on Linux. In this session, we are going to discuss why we need to encrypt our data. And uh, once data is delivered to intended user, how they can decrypt the data. So let's begin. Uh, first thing, why we have to encrypt the data? So let me give example. Uh, I will share two scenarios with you. First scenario, let's say on your system you got some uh, confidential file which got your password information or your financial information. It's not recommended to keep this information uh, related to your finance on your system, but still I'm giving example. So uh, someone from outside logged on to your system. He may intrude by any mean. So he can check the information. He can get your credit card information, whatever. So that's a one scenario. Second scenario, you have to send uh, some confidential information on network that may be on your private network that may be on public so there are chances that someone can read your information what data you are being transmitting so they can read uh, they can basically intrude and in case your data is encrypted on your local system or you have uh, encrypted during transmission what it mean there are very low chances that intruder can uh, uh, check your information or read your information. In market, uh, there are multiple type of encrypt encryption software available on Linux. They are open source or they are paid one. Uh, but in session today, I'm going to discuss on OpenSSL. OpenSSL is general purpose cryptography library. And uh, on my screen, you can see a link that's openssl.org. You can uh, go through that link and there are a lot of use, useful information on this particular website. Okay, to install this particular utility that's installed on all Linux variants by default, but in case you see this is not installed or you want to update, that's up to you. So you can use yum install OpenSSL. If you are running with some different variant of uh, Linux, let's say you are not running with the uh, Red Hat or CentOS, then you can use apt-get command which is supported on uh, other variants. Okay. With the particular version OpenSSL, I go to on my lab system that's uh, 1.01E42 1 and my system is Enterprise Linux 7. And these are the cipher types which are supported by OpenSSL version installed on my system. So friends, let's begin te on technical session. Okay, I am logged on to my lab system. And let's say I'm creating one file with uh, some random data. So this file got uh, this content I'm saving in my home directory with name secret.key. Sorry. Okay. So if I check content of this file, if anyone logs on to my system, he got root access, he can simply cat this file and he can get my secret password. Okay, so uh, that's a risk. If I transmit this file over network, someone can uh, check what data I'm transmitting, he can easily get all the contents of this file. So that's a risk, right? So let's encrypt this file using OpenSSL. Here to encrypt the file, I'm going to use OpenSSL commands. and I'm using to use one of the cipher which is AES 256 CBC. You can choose cipher whatever security level you want or uh, according to your requirements. But I felt uh, AES 256 CBC uh, very safe as of now. So to use the cipher I will use open SSL then ENC. ENC basically I'm going to tell which cipher to be used. I'm using AES. 256 CBC then with minus IN I am specifying input file which will be input for this encryption tool. So here I am using my secret file and then with minus out I am telling what will be my output file which will be encrypted version of this file. So I am going to choose name dummy dummy dot file. And one thing uh, you will be thinking why I have choose name dummy, why I have not uh, kept file name same as secret because I don't want outsider or intruders to uh, give clue like what 
type of information this file may be having. So I'm just choosing name dummy. That's up to you which name you want to use. Okay, so here it is asking me for encryption password. That's password which I will set and uh, make sure you remember the password which you set here. I'm verifying password. Okay, so this file is created and uh, let's verify whether file is file got created or not in my home directory. Uh, this is the actual file and uh, this is the new file. If you see uh, files got created and I'm just going to delete my original file which was having my secret password. Okay, let's do ls minus l again. If you see secret file is deleted, only I got encrypted file now. So let's verify what information this encrypted file got. Uh, I will check the file type first. If you see this is data file, can I check this file? Can I read this file? No, it got junk data. So that, that means it is safe. If I transmit it over network, it's not too much easy that someone can read data. It's too much, it's very difficult. So we are safe. Even on my system, I'm root user. I can't read this file because that's encrypted file. So friends, uh, this is the security that encryption provides. Okay. Now other thing. Now uh, let's uh, come to second part, which how we can decrypt the data. So once you have transmitted this file from your system to intended user or let's say locally on your system. So we have to decrypt it, right? To read the content. To read the content, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use OpenSSL command again because I have to use same tool to decrypt it. Then ENCM, with ENC I'm telling which cipher to be used to decrypt the file. Make sure you use same cipher in case you are using different ciphers for decrypting and encrypting. So what it means? You, the file will not open because ciphers need to be same and then minus D minus D tells like this time we are going to decrypt the file and here I have to tell what will be input file in then my dummy file now I have to redirect it on which location or with which file name I want to use it so for easiness I am going to use same name uh, same name of old file, secret key, enter, see now it is asking decryption password. So it means we are safe. If someone know my password which I said during encryption, only that guy can decrypt it. So okay, this file is decrypted. Let's check the contents. Let's check whether file actually got created or not. Earlier this file was not there. If you see on this step. I have deleted it and then it was not available. Now I have just decrypted it, pressing enter. If you see file is created, right? And uh, it got same permission and ownerships. So that's default uh, with encryption thing. So let's check content of this file now. Cat, this file, enter. If you see it got my secret password. So friends, uh, that's a way to encrypt and decrypt data using OpenSSL. As I said, there are multiple tools like GNU, encry Encrypt, Decrypt. So you can use any of tool, but that's up to you which tool you want to use. And only thing, whenever you are transmitting your data or you want to keep your data safe, just encrypt it. Thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in next sessions. Thanks a lot, friends. Bye.